All right. One more little figured bass thing I want to do is um, augmented sixth chords in figured bass. Just learned to come at all these things from different angles. Let's. <laughs> This class gets stranger and stranger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and they turned into monkeys. <laughs> My daughter would be very, very into. She's in a curious George phase right now. Um, but you know, at, at this rate, I'm gonna have to just like stop trying to explain the inside jokes of this class to my wife. Like I've told her about mega theory, which she appreciates, but uh, I'm not gonna try talking. You know, now they're monkeys for some reason. <laughs> so, <laughs> the midterm has sort of snapped them. And, um, so, if you want to come at this. What is my bass note going to be? You know, I'll, ask, I'll ask you to provide this. Augmented sixth chord in C minor. The bass note is A flat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's already there in the key signature, so you don't necessarily have to specify it. So this is your bass note. To get the C, to get the tonic, we don't need anything. It's already in the key again. Um, what do you need in order to get our other sort of altered note. If you want to have your F sharp, uh, no, not in figured bass. It's sharp four in the key, but a figured bass, you need to figure out where it is above the bass note. Um, so it's sharp six, exactly. It's the name of, it's you know sort of the name of the chord. So you would write this either, the sort of stylized way to do it is six with a slash through it. Um, oh, sorry. So, six with a slash. Um, that's kind of the stylized way to do it. You know, I'll make it bigger here. That. Or you could, you know, in some, some editions of things, we'll just write sharp six. But by convention, sort of, if you can find a place on the number to put a slash through, you do that to raise it. Um, so, you know, you have, like, sharp six. You have, sometimes you see three with various slashes through them. You know, yeah, you just kind of have, you know, four. Sometimes you have like a four with, uh, wait a second, fonts tend to make it like this, right? And you might have like that, you might have like boom, like whatever. Oh no, can't even see it. There you go, something like that, you know? It's so crazy, I can't even show you. <laughs> Theory professors hate this one weird uh, figure. <laughs> So, this is the Italian sixth chord, right? <laughs> so, there's our Italian sixth chord. It's going to be A flat in the bass line. It's going to have sharp six, either six with a slash or sharp six on it. Um, next one, if I want a French four three chord. So, I want. Let's say, where am I? I want this chord. <clears throat> what are my bass figures going to be? Mm -hmm. Yes, sharp six, four, three. Yeah, so the figured bass for these is actually pretty straightforward. Is there a third note in the Italian sixth chord? Yeah, there is, it's just, but it's just the tonic. So you don't actually need to specify it in, uh, in the figured bass. Yes, so sharp six, four, three. You have the four, three that it already tells you in the name of the chord, and then you have the sharp six, which you need for the enharmonic, or for the uh, augmented sixth. And then finally, the German is going to give us German 6-5, barely fits here. So we're going to 
have the notes of our Italian sixth chord, and then we are adding E flat instead. Mm -hmm. You need sharp six, um, and then you need five. Because you need to say this isn't just a six three chord, it's you know a four note chord. Six and five are dissonant against each other, which is one of the rules of figure bass. If you have upper tones that are dissonant, you need them both. So six five, and then the three is is uh, kind of optional here. You can get by without it because it's implied in six five. Um, four three, you need it because four and three are dissonant against each other. So six four three for French, six five potentially six five three or sharp six five three, I should say. Um, yeah. So that's. That's the figured base that you will tend to see for augmented sixth chords.